everybody welcome back so today we are going to check out uh, my fall buckets and see what I want to do where I want to go uh, with my colors and all that stuff I really don't even know I have a little bit of an idea but first let's make some homemade granola um, there's so many recipes out there so I try to keep this as clean as possible all right so the oven is preheated to 300 and we're just using some maple syrup vanilla obviously oats pinch of salt so I just got out the regular salt Coconut oil already uh, melted in the micro. I'm throwing in craisins. Frank isn't a huge fan, but I figured we'd add those for a little something extra. And he loves almonds. So uh, that's what I'm using today. And um, I hope everybody's doing well. I actually, oh geez, I think I just spilled some. I actually had um, some quick oats, but they recommend, this is two and a half, but they recommend the uh, old oats, okay. We got some almonds, some craisins. Just put everything in a bowl, don't you love it? One big bowl. Coconut oil. Uh, we needed cinnamon. I haven't made this in a long time. I actually, they said half a teaspoon to a teaspoon, so we'll do almost a teaspoon. And there's, like I said, there's so many recipes to pick from. So it's all what you like. So a pinch of salt, I'm just gonna do like, boop, a little bit like that, okay? Actually, that was a little too much, I'm gonna put that in there. <laughs> Vanilla. And um, granola is kind of expensive. This was the maple syrup. Um, so I said, you know what? I think I'm gonna make it again. I haven't made it for a while. Hopefully it comes out good. And just stir everything together. And I kind of like using the spatula. Yeah, so anyway, we'll go through my fall buckets. Not sure what my, not a theme, I mean, there's no theme, but what my colors are going to be. All right, that's pretty good there. We got a cookie sheet. Just going to spray it. We do have some coconut oil in there, but I'd rather it not stick just in case. We just mix it a little bit longer. And we'll put this in the oven. I think it takes 30 minutes, but I'm supposed to turn it over every 10. You know, check it every 10 minutes. Looks good to me, huh? Can't wait to see how this comes out. Put it in a nice jar. It makes a nice gift too, right? Put the timer on for 30 minutes. I'll check it. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'll put the timer on for 10. I think I'll let this finish because I have to check it every 10 minutes and then we'll check out my fall buckets. How's that? Okay, see you soon. I realized I never showed you what it looked like on the cookie sheet. So the first 10 minutes, just about ready to come out. Good, good, so far so good. It's still early, all right? Spread it out a little bit. I'll bring you over here. So this is what it's looked like after the first 10 minutes. And then I'll show you what it looks like at the very end. After 30 minutes, here it is, everybody. We're going to let that sit. Let's go downstairs. All right, we are downstairs. I have changed my shirt. It got a little bit warm. It was a little cooler this morning when I went grocery shopping, but, and you know how it is in the grocery store, it's always a little chilly. So I am sitting amongst my tubs and my fall decor. This is an accumulation of, you know, a good few years. I believe I'm going to challenge myself as I usually do. If you've been watching me for a while, a lot of, uh, I do a lot of repurposing of my things. And um, I may challenge myself to do that again. So I have, I did a haul a little while ago, the dollar plus aisle. Had some cute trays, the tall sign, the hello fall popular sign I got from Hobby Lobby. I think everybody's got it. That's the only thing about Hobby Lobby. Everybody kind of gets the same thing. So it's nice to kind of um, be unique in some way. Uh, but stay true to yourself and decorate with what you like. I've got some pumpkins. I still love the white pumpkins. The signs they say are going out a little bit. I may use those still. It adds a little bit of pop against my wall sometimes. Uh, behind me, I have some pillows and I love, I usually try to stick with kind of like this color theme. The more dark, oh, uh oh, the more darker colors for fall. Remember years ago, you had like this bright 
I'm not really a fan of those anymore. I do have a porch though. Sometimes I can use this like outside. I have like a, a pole. Maybe I can kind of wrap it around that. But I love this. Love those colors. And I'll put that back here. I've got the rust blanket. I don't know what else I'll add or incorporate. Incorporate. Um, I do have the wheat. I like the wheat. I think I had that on a tray last year. Uh, it always looks nice on a tray. These I loved. I believe I, oh, I believe I got these last year from Hobby Lobby. But look at the colors. Aren't they pretty? I love that. I believe I got this. Wheat is always great. And then I'm still kind of liking these. I think I had these on my mantle. And they're that color. They're not bright like this. And it looks artificial, you know what I mean? Um, but I, I like these a lot. And I may still use that. So, what you have to do is go through your tubs or whatever you're keeping your decor in and just kind of put it in categories. Categorize it a little bit and see what you need, what you don't need. The one thing I would like to invest in this year, I don't know if I will, we'll have to see, is I don't have a lot of nice vessels or vases or whatever you want to call them. I have some go-tos and I keep reusing them, that which is great, but it's like, okay, after about 20 times. Um, so I'll have to try to catch Hobby Lobby at a sale and uh, see if I can pick up a couple new ones. So that's what I'm gonna do. I don't think I'll be using a lot of this or all of this. If you've been watching me for a while, my decor, I try to keep it simple, but pretty. Uh, and I, I usually say practical, and that kind of goes with the kitchen as far as uh, what you're using every day and stuff like that. But fall decor, uh, I do love fall. It's probably one of my favorites. So I'm just going to have to go through the tubs and start playing around. I probably won't decorate for another two or three weeks. I'm trying to think what the date is today. Um, probably another good three weeks, maybe. So we'll see. But let's also take a quick peek, some inspiration for fall. Okay, let's check some pictures out. All right, everybody, I actually have the iPad on a little bit of a stand. But um, so this is all about fall decor trends in 2023. Uh, muted colors, luxurious textures, natural elements. Now this says avoid themes this fall season. Look at the colors. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to move this back. Just a little bit. There we go. But you know Pinterest is your best friend for inspiration for sure. Got a nice plaid pillow. Um, the light color leaves. The white pumpkin with the hydrangea. The rust color makes it pop with the uh, floral picks there with the same color. But basically, this is what you have to do. Here's some tray ideas. I may use a scarf on my dining room table. I did buy a runner, however, but um, I do like the look of a scarf. Maybe for Thanksgiving, I could switch out too. Um, natural elements, a trending fall accessory. Look how simple, but it looks really pretty, right? Oh, I love that. Fall hydrangea bush, that's really, really pretty. So anyway, these are just different ideas, but I mean, you go on, um, you know, fall inspiration and look at, you've got a ton of ideas and it can get overwhelming, um, but at least it can give you some ideas, right? All right, everybody, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. I sure enjoyed doing it. We snuck in a little healthy granola recipe. That'll be linked, give it a try. And uh, I've got to go through my fall tubs, see what I'm going to use, see what I'm not going to use. Go on Pinterest for some inspiration. We did a little bit. You saw some of the pictures. It can give you some great ideas. Um, I'm going to try not to buy a lot. I don't think I really need a lot of stuff. The one thing, like I mentioned, I'd like to invest in is maybe some more vases or vessels. Uh, but otherwise, I'm going to try to use what I have. Uh, it's, I usually mention that on my channel. So anyway, hope to see you soon. Have a great day. See you later, everybody.